Here are a few frequently asked questions and their answers. Is it UL listed? Yes. It's the sole recipient of UL certification for passing the toughest vapor concentration tests in the USA. What are the laws? Codes require that a unit be listed as compliant with UL 2208, Standard for Solvent Distillation Units. How long does it take to do a batch? Typically, heat up time of an hour or two, and then about a gallon an hour. But it depends on many variables. What solvent, how dirty, etc. Typically, you can process 50 to 70 gallons per week. What do I do with the waste left over? We must tell you to treat the residue as hazardous waste until your local landfill and environmental officials tell you otherwise. But now you are a small quantity generator. EPA likes what you're doing and will work with you. More lenient laws now apply to you. Continue to accumulate the small amount of residue in a 55-gallon drum. Once it is full and capped, you have at least six more months to have it hauled away. Does it cost more to have the residue hauled away? Not in real terms, but check with your local hauler for rates. If you are required to have it hauled away, total disposal costs will be greatly reduced. What kind of warranty do I get? One year limited warranty. Ask your dealer for a copy. I have some really old thinner on hand. Can I recycle it? As often as not, people do not really know for sure what is in the old collection. If this is your case, take your lumps and dispose of the waste. This application is where we see the worst compatibility problems with old solvents and acids, water, nitrocellulose, corrosion, etc. Use a sidewinder in your day-to-day -day processing and you won't accumulate this problem again. What if I buy recycled solvent? You can't rely on the exact content of many commercially recycled solvents since the dirty solvents come from many different industry sources. To fully gain the benefits of on-site recycling, start with a medium-grade solvent and recycle it on-site in your sidewinder. Do I need to use a five-gallon can? Yes, you must. The can is essential to the proper operation of the unit. Can I use a plastic bucket? No. It will melt and make a big mess. What about processing bags? Many people find it convenient to use Sidewinder processing bags in their waste management programs. Just place the Sidewinder processing bag in a clean, open-top metal bucket and fold down the sides like lining a waste can. For best results when using Sidewinder processing bags, start with a clean, open-top metal bucket. Bags will stick to dirty buckets containing paint or coatings residue. What about service after the warranty? It is best to start by contacting the factory. Experienced technicians will help get you back on track. Do I have to shut it off? No. The Sidewinder has a microprocessor that monitors the process and turns itself off when finished. What is the operating pressure? The Sidewinder operates at the prevailing atmospheric pressure. It is not a pressurized device. What is nitrocellulose? Do not process nitrocellulose in your sidewinder. It is dangerous and it's extremely corrosive. Related damage is not covered by warranty. Nitrocellulose is an ester of cellulose and nitric acid. It's used as a component of many lacquers, inks, adhesives, and cements. It becomes very unstable when heated and dry. It auto-reacts at 275 to 330 degrees Fahrenheit in a fierce exothermic reaction to form a dense cloud containing potentially toxic levels of nitrogen oxides and carbon monoxide. Do I need the insulation bonnet? The bonnet fits over the sidewinder to minimize heat loss while its outer surface stays near room temperature. It is required for high boil temp solvents like mineral spirits. It's suggested for operating in cooler climates or for use as an added safety heat barrier. The energy saved in most cases can pay for the bonnet over the first year of use. How long have you been in business? Happily since 1988. Can I turn it off? Yes. Push the button to turn off the red light. The sidewinder will proceed with the shutdown cycle.
What kind of maintenance is there? Maintenance is simple. Check the clean solvent outlet tubes for obstructions. Keep the unit and its operating area clean and clear of debris. Follow the periodic maintenance schedule in the owner's manual. Can I change the temperature myself? There is limited customer adjustability. Always consult the factory prior to making any adjustments. Do I need a bigger machine? We've discovered that to double the machine size in order to process 100 gallons a week would more than double the cost to the consumer for the larger unit. If you need to process more than 50 gallons a week, two machines is the cost-effective answer. Can I move the sidewinder to another location? The unit must be bolted to the floor and hardwired. If moving the unit is required, be sure it is empty of solvent. If the unit must be tipped on its side, be sure the electrical box and refrigeration grill are up and the logo face panel and on-off button are face down. Is the recycled solvent as good as the new? I can tell you yes. Better yet, let your dealer show you. You be the judge. What about chlorinated solvents? Many users are satisfactorily processing chlorinated solvents. You should be aware, however, that this is an area where additional maintenance cost will be incurred because of potential acid and corrosion problems. Related damage is not covered by warranty. How much does it cost to do a batch? Five to ten cents an hour here locally, less than a dollar. How many amps? Volts? 110 to 120 volts, about 11 amps. 60 hertz single phase. We advise using a dedicated 20 amp circuit whenever possible. Do not use extension cords. Can I put it outside? The sidewinder is not intended for outdoor use. The sidewinder should be in a covered area, protected from rain and direct sunlight. Operating the unit in a cold environment will result in slower processing. Operation in a hot environment could allow some of your clean solvent to evaporate. The Sidewinder is designed for use in ambient temperature from 50 degrees Fahrenheit, 10 degrees centigrade, to 95 degrees Fahrenheit, 35 degrees centigrade. Can I cook water? The Sidewinder was designed to recycle solvents, which have different characteristics and properties than water. What happens if I mix solvents? The mixture you put in dirty is the blend that you will get back clean. Is it EPA approved? EPA is not in the business of approving or certifying any commercial equipment. They give advice to the waste generator and offer many educational publications. They do endorse in-house recycling for dirty solvents because this minimizes hazardous waste. I just pay a licensed hauler to pick up my dirty stuff. Why should I worry? That is the most expensive route. People begin on-site recycling to lower the costs of hazardous waste disposal and to reduce their cradle-to-grave liability. Moreover, they save money by reusing costly solvents. Recycling and waste minimization is one of the few areas where national environmental goals, industries, economic interest, and public health and safety issues clearly coincide. For the small waste generator, use of the Sidewinder will result in reduced costs, liabilities, and regulatory burdens associated with hazardous waste management. People buy a Sidewinder for four reasons. To save on purchases. To save on disposal costs. To save costly fines and appeasing the environmental officials. And to save our planet.